cream of celery soup. We're going to start out with about a quarter cup of butter, one small onion which we're going to dice up, two cups or about six ribs of some good quality celery. I did wash this off before. Uh, one large clove of garlic. We're going to mince that up. About a third of a cup of all-purpose unbleached flour. We're going to make our own chicken broth here with this base that we've got right here. One and a half cups of milk. You can add or subtract the amount of milk you want for the amount of creaminess that you would like in this soup. And then of course a little bit of salt and pepper to season it to taste. All right, I'm going to start out with our onion. We're just going to dice this up. For our, we're not going to use a standard mirepoix that we normally do in this soup with our carrots, celery, and onions. We're going to be just using our onions and of course the celery in there. And we're just going to throw a little chopped minced garlic in there as well. So we're not having the carrots or the parsley or anything in there. So what I'm doing, as you can see, is we're just going to dice this up really nice. And then we're going to finish this. We'll finish this onion up. And of course our garlic, which I'm just going to cut very thin. these out and just mince it up. Add this to the bowl as well. And we'll get our celery going here. Now the easiest way to do this, depending on the size of the mince or the slice or the dice or whatever you want to do to this, celery is you just cut it into long strips. And then you're just going to have your dice, just like this, this is the size I want for this, equal to the size of the onions. But the best way to do it is to probably cut, for people that are not really familiar with how to cut things, I would rather you cut the celery in half like this into manageable stocks to get the cuts you want than to try to take and do the whole thing this way. Because then you get kind of an awkward cut because you're not in control of your knife. And you see right there you've got the weird tips on it and things like that. You're not going to get a precise cut like you look for so your food's not uniform and it won't cook evenly and it also will look a little weird in your dish if you're going for a really nice look for your food. You want to make sure it's uniform. That's the whole point of the culinary world having all these different cuts and different sizes of cuts because you want to have your food to be uniform so it cooks evenly and it looks professional. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all this up and then we'll get over to the saucepan where we're going to start cooking up our soup. All right, got our heat on to about medium high. I'm going to go ahead and put this butter in there and let that start to melt a little bit. All right, butter is melted. We're going to throw our veggies in there and get these started. Our garlic, our onions, and our celery. All the ingredients will be in a list in the description box below. So if you want to make this at home someday, you can feel free to go ahead and check that out. All right, we're just going to sweat these down until that celery gets a little color on it and the onions get translucent and our garlic has perfumed all this. All right, well, we're almost there with the uh, way we're sweating these down. You just got to make sure that when you're using celery and when you're making celery soup, that that celery is going to be soft enough to the bite to where you're having a bowl of soup and you're not biting into hard chunks of celery. You want that to be soft and pleasing. You don't want it to be hard and something you have to chew when you're eating your cream soup. So I'm going to make sure these are soft enough before we head on to the next step. All right, we're starting to get a little bit of color in this now. The celery, I'm going to check it out here. Not quite soft enough, kind of el dente if you want to use that word. We are getting color on the onions. So this is important why it's this is why it's important to cut your vegetables uniform so they all cook the same at the same time so you don't have big pieces in there. But we're almost there. We're almost ready to go on to the next step. All right, I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Now we're going to add our flour to this. And we're going to just sprinkle in a little bit at a time and get it mixed in there so the roux can cook as it goes. This is the Singer method. Again, this is adding the flour to the cooking food instead of making a roux off to the side in your fat with equal parts flour and fat and then adding it to the soup. We'll go ahead and we are just making the roux in our pot. So that is the Singer method as opposed to making a roux and adding it. So we're just going to let this roux cook. We've got the heat turned down to about medium now. We just want it to cook slowly. Kind of get a brown little bit of a color to it. And we'll just add the rest of it. 
in there. You want it to kind of pull off the sides of the pot too without sticking. Then you know you've kind of got the desired amount of equal parts flour and equal parts fat. We're just going to let this get a little bit of color to it and we'll add the next step. All right, and we're going to add our milk to this, cup and a half. Turn our heat up a little bit more, up to about a medium high. And we're going to see this getting thick. I'm going to go ahead and get my container and I'm going to put a cup and a half of water in there. I didn't say that in the beginning, but we're going to add chicken stock. And this is the part of the process where we make the chicken stock from that base that I've got. So I've got the water. Now you don't need to actually make the stock. First of all, let's see how thick this is getting. I'm going to turn the heat back down to medium. You can actually go ahead and put your base right in there. You don't need to make it into the water because we're going to add that water anyway. So I just go ahead and I just put this right into this glop that we've got here with our roux and our heavy cream. I'm sorry, our milk. And then when we add our water, it just kind of goes right into it. I'm going to switch out and use a whip in this right now. That is a culinary term I just made up to glop. So if that's on a quiz someday, you'll know who to give that attribution to. Chef Philippe, glop. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper and salt to this. A little bit of salt. Let that sit and give this a taste. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. Everybody knows what we do right about now. And if you haven't watched before, here is the process. I'm going to take this lovely soup. I'm going to put it into a bowl. We're going to take some awesome photos of it for social media. Then we're going to put those pictures into a timeline of this video with some groovy music underneath it. And then we're going to come back and give it a taste. So. All right, here's that thick and luscious looking soup. This is velvety, it seems like. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, camera up on a tripod and we're gonna give this a nice taste. I'll tell you how it is.